Hi, my name is Hala, and today I will be walking you through how to add students to your Skills Tracker programs. Once you log into Course Key on the left hand side, you'll see a few different tabs. The one we'll, we'll click on is the Management tab, and below that, we'll click on your programs. This is where all your programs or Skills Tracker programs will live in Course Key. You can search for a specific program here, and it'll filter it down. You'll select your program and it'll automatically take you to this program info tab at the top of your screen. The program info tab is where all of the skills tracker program settings are. So it'll hold your checklist in here. It'll give you the ability to edit in here. And also you'll be able to see the students that are in this court in this program. So when you click on all students, you'll see the students in your program, the start dates, their end dates, their statuses, uh, if they've been placed, their last updated date, and give you the ability to edit. Now, to add more students to this program is really easy. What you'll do is click the Add Students green button in the top right corner of your screen, and it'll show you two different ways that you can add students. Either you can add them by entering them in their emails. So what you can do is click Enter Email and click Next, and I'll enter in my student's email. I'll click Enter. I can add in another email if I would like. Once I do that, I can add in their start dates and end dates, which is optional. And to default this user as active, what you can click on is default all users status to active. You'll click submit and it will add your student to this program. Now the second way to add students and it's probably the better way if you have a lot of students to add is to upload a CSV file. And you can do this using um, Excel or Google Sheets. What you'll do is you'll have three columns in your file, an email column, a start column, and an end column. The email column is going to have your students' emails. The start column will have their start dates in this format. And the end column will have their start date or their end dates in this format. Once you have that file ready, you can download it in a CSV format and you can drag and drop it here or you can click this button and it'll take you to all of your folders, your files and be able to choose the one um, that you would like to upload. Lastly, you'll click default all users to status to active and you will click submit. Once you do that, all the students who are on your file will now be added to your core, adding to your program and their status will be active. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.